Welcome, in front of me is a Sony Xperia 1 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you can see the phone in front of me is obviously locked and there's two ways of unlocking it, either through the Google account or using the pattern as you will see right over here. Now to get started with the bypass we're going to go back to the first page and number one, change the language to um, many kind of language that uses a different kind of keyboard. So Greek for instance. Russian, both of them should work just fine. Um, and from here, again, we're gonna go to the setup, skipping majority of the things as we did previously, uh, just to get to the uh, verification screen. Now from here, once you see the verification screen, tap on a field and hold the globe icon right next to the spacebar. And this will bring up the two different keyboards that we have, which is one is the Greek one and one is the typical US one. So we're gonna go with the second one, the QWERTY, and then hold it again and choose the last option for language select, tap on the bottom, and select any kind of language option from uh, the ones that have arrows. Uh, these will have different keyboards or multiple keyboards. Uh, but in there, we will also have the three dot option, as you can see right here, and in there, there is help and feedback, which is this second option. And in the help and feedback section, you want to tap on the search bar and type in Morse code, like so, and select use Morse code. From here, you should see the video, so simply tap on it, and it will give us again the three dot option right here with the watch later, which is the clock icon right over here. Here, accept and continue, and we don't want to log in, so tap right over here the left and then tap on the search bar and navigate into hard reset that info website on the site tap on the bar three bars right here and go to the download category and in the search bar you want to look for Android 7.1.2 And download that, scroll down, and this time you want to hold this and open an incognito, which is the second option. This will prevent any kind of issue with downloads uh, that sometimes appear. Tap on OK. And once it's downloaded, you want to open it up. Uh, tap on the right side to confirm. Check this on. Go back and again install on the right side. Scroll down, install, and let's close this. Okay, let's go back, and now let's go back once more. And now in the search, you want to look for settings. And again, download this, scroll down, hold, and select open in incognito. Okay open, install, and in here we should be done in the app itself. So settings. And number one, probably should change the language, so uh, go to the bottom where you have the gear icons right here. And gonna go, I believe it's the first option, and again on the top you have languages, and we're gonna add English. So let's scroll down. There it is. Um, so once you add it, drag English over to the top and this will change the language. From here we're gonna go back, back and back. And now we're gonna look for apps, so apps and notifications right here and see all 42 apps up on the three dots and show system from here you want to scroll down because we can't grab it so scroll down to g we're looking for google play services and google play store so 
So Google Play Services, so there is one. Disable that and disable. Go back and Google Play Store. Disable, disable, go back, back once more and once more to the main page. And then go to the accounts, add account, choose Google. And in here, you want to log in with the existing Google account that you have. Now, if you don't have a Google account, you can always create one on your computer. Uh, probably is going to be the easiest way. And once you do, you can then use it to log in. Creating an account is completely free, so you don't have to worry there. And once you have it, like I do, you can use it to log in. So I'm going to put in the password, something that off the screen. You can see that once you log in, it uh, will bring up the welcome screen. So let's agree to this. And you can see it's, uh, it's added right here. So from here, we're going to go back. And now we're going to re enable the apps that we have disabled. So again, we're going to go to apps and notifications, see all 42, show system, and scroll down to G. So where is it? Google Play Services. Enable, go back, place, oops, that's services, Google Play Store, right here, enabled, go back. And once they both enabled, you want to hold the power key and select restart. So as you can see, we're now back in the setup. Close up. Uh, now the app will be uh, probably crashing multiple times throughout this. I uh, completely disregard this. It did its thing, which is uh, allow us to add Google account. So from here, we're gonna go to get started, accept. And again, we're gonna proceed through the setup as we did before. And key difference in here is account added now previously as you've seen there was verify account now as you're saying account added and provides the email address that I have provided right before the restart of the device so let's tap on next now what we want to do now is completely skip through most of this it doesn't really matter what we set up we still need to perform a reset of the device once more but specifically through settings uh, which will then in turn uh, remove the previous account that was blocking us before. If you were to re uh, well, restart the device or format it through, uh, through computer, it will go back to being locked. So if we do it through settings on the device itself, uh, it will remove both of the accounts that we have, well, the one that we have added and the previous one that was locking us and in turn uh, basically unlock itself. So as you can see now we're on the home screen so from here we're gonna go to settings and scroll all the way down to system advanced reset options and you will find erase all data factory reset and as you can see it provides us with the uh, account that it will remove but it also will remove the um, the other one that isn't displayed here it also removes additional stuff like uh, installed apps, music, photos, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Uh, it also will remove the app that we have installed that is right now crashing uh, the bypass uh, for FRP, uh, which is also a good thing because we don't need it anymore. So let's stop download, uh, delete all data on that once more. 
and the process will begin. So this will take a couple minutes, but once it's finished, we should be then back in the Android setup screen the, with the key difference of it being then fully unlocked. So I'll be back once that has finished. So as you can see now the process is finished and once more I'm going to go through the setup process but this time around I'm going to try to skip basically everything I can just to save on time. Now at this point you can set up your device as however you like. Uh, it is at this point fully unlocked and you can add your Google accounts uh, or not depending how you like it. Skip connection to Wi-Fi which previously was not available. And we're almost done. So give it a moment. And there we go. As you can see, we're now on the home screen with the device being fully unlocked. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.